Mm. What Gwen does is go back over different at bats with different pitchers. This way, he has a better idea of what to look for when he's up at this the plate. Right there. Front foot is locked in. And it's just solid. It's a solid, solid front leg. Heads down on the ball. Perfect. When I'm hitting good, that front foot goes almost between shortstop and second base. And when I'm going good, that's where it'll land. But when sometimes when it goes haywire, sometimes it'll land closer to the plate. Uh, sometimes it won't go at all. It'll just I just kind of just pick it up and put it down. I'm what they call a diver. When I'm at the plate, I kind of dive into the ball. As long as this front foot is going almost towards shortstop, not quite, between short and, and second base, I know that I'm OK. Rick Mailer is a guy who uh, will change speeds quite a bit. Uh, he likes to get me off the plate. Uh, when he's ahead in the count. And uh, sometimes like that, he'll come inside, and in order for me to hit it, I really have to get my hands through because I'm not a, what they call a pull hitter. I'm more of a, a line drive hitter who uses the whole field, but basically everybody pitches me away, so I usually hit the ball to left field. I know sometimes people look at me slide or something and say, God, what's wrong with that guy? He didn't smile or anything, but to me, this is business. Craig Lefferts is a fastball slider. Every now and then he'll turn a screwball over, but I don't believe he likes to throw it to left-handers a lot. With one strike, if he's ahead in the count of one he usually likes to throw this slider, good slider. And that at bat, and you see him frustrated because I just didn't have a clue on that. And But the difference, I think, between a lot of hitters today and, and the guys who are pretty consistent hitters are guys, when they get two strikes on them, they don't change. Their, their makeup as a hitter remains the same. And even with two strikes, I still get a good pitch to hit, and I, and I get a base hit this time. You hear a lot of people act like they're surprised that people get hits on 0-2 pitches, but it's just it's just a confidence factor that lets you know that when you get up there and you're behind the count 0-2, you don't panic, you know, because then a lot of hitters will swing at anything 0-2. But um, as long as you, you know you got a bat in your hand, you're able to do whatever it is that you do. Now, Ron Darn is a guy who just has has about three or four just good quality pitches. There's one of them is a slow breaking ball. This is a guy who uh, statistically I hit well, but whenever I go up there, I never feel comfortable against him because he's got what you saw there, good breaking ball, great fork ball. Uh, not really overpowering. He's more of a spot pitcher, good pitch in. And see, that's what a lot of pitchers like to do to me. They get ahead of me, and they like to back me off the plate because, like I said, I hit the ball to left field a lot. And in order for a pitcher to feel like he's got control of that outside part of the plate, they back me off the plate. And he's got a real good fork ball. And that's just a tough pitch to stay behind and, and hit the ball the other way. I mean, you really have to wait a long time in order to hit that ball hard. So with two strikes now, I'm figuring I've got a battle because he could throw that fork ball again. But this time he throws a fastball in and just fight it off. See, that's kind of like what I do best right there is just take the inside fastball and fight it off and hit it the other way. John Smoltz, he's really a, a good young pitcher. Throws hard. Fastball, changeup, good slider, good curveball. This is what I call working the count. I'm trying to work the count. I'm ahead 2-0. Oh. And uh, off a young guy, you just feel like you're going to get the fastball. But for me, sometimes I get ahead in the count, and I don't want to be too anxious, so I'll just take a pitch. And it's 2-1 and one now, and I'm still ahead in the count. So, as a hitter, as a hitter, you feel like you've got the advantage because he doesn't want to throw you a good pitch to hit. Well, it looks like a change. Oh, he got it up. And that's the one pitch when you get it up. If you make a mistake with it, a hitter really takes advantage of it. All four of these at-bats that, that we saw today, I just remember in my own mind. Guys who have been pretty consistent over their careers, I think have that ability to remember certain, remember almost every at bat, every situation, and uh, uh, I don't know. I just think that uh, with video, it's a lot easier to remember because I mean I've got my library at home, and like all these, all the footage that we saw today, I have at home except for the first at bat off Mailer. But I remember that one too because he got ahead in the count 0 too. As a hitter, the, the thing you feel proudest about is the fact that. They, they feel like they can't pitch you one way. You know, they have to keep changing it up on you because if they can pitch you one way and get you out consistently, then you're, you're making some mistakes. You're not doing things consistently well. But when they have to keep changing on you, you feel like, I must be doing something right because they keep telling me, God, you just, I throw a ball away, you hit it to left, I throw a ball in, you hit it to right. I mean, I throw it down the middle. That's my only hope. I hope you hit it right at somebody. 
and and I hear that a lot. 